with valuing inventory is that we always use the lower of cost or market. Now, what does that mean? After we've determined the cost, whether it's FIFO or LIFO or average cost, if it turns out that the market is lower, the market price, to buy it, then we are going to use the market price instead of the price we have it in our inventory. And that all has to do with the concept of con being conservative with our statements. A lot of the uh, accounting laws were written this way, so if it turns that we can't keep our inventory at a higher value than what the market value is. Um, and to do this, it's very, really very simple. Um, I'll just have a simple example in your handouts, and I also have it up here. And I'll start with the first inventory item. We had 40 um, of this particular item. It cost us $10, and the market price was $11. Okay, so if we multiply that out, um, the cost for this particular item A would be $400. The market price for it, on the other hand, 400 times $11 gives us $440. So if we're choosing either the lower cost or market, we just have to look which is lower, 400 or 440. And obviously the 400 is lower. So that's the price that we'll use. Okay, going on down the page, um, the next item we have 100. And there's 21 um, is the unit cost price, and 20 is the unit market price. So if you take that 100 times 21, we get 2,100, we get the cost. If we take that 100 times 20, we get 2,000. And coming over to the last column, which one are we going to pick? Well, whichever one is lower, and obviously the $2,000 is lower. Going down to item C. It says we have 600 at 8. 600 at, uh, at 8 will give us 4,800 for our cost. What about our market here? Okay, the market value is $7.75, so 600 times 7.75 gives us 6.50. Now, which one is lower? the cost or the market. And here it looks like the market value is lower. We lost money by holding on to our inventory, which happens, especially with um, technology. All right, and the last one down here, uh, inventory quantity is 280. The unit cost is uh, 14 here, so that would total 3,920 if we multiply it out. Then we have the 280 times 1475, which is the unit market price, of 4,130. And which one is going to be lower? The 3,920. The cost. So the last thing that we need to do here is add the cost and the market. And the um, odd thing about this is that the cost and the market actually have the same total. But when we use the lower of cost or me me market method, when we add those down, we're going to find that it's going to be lower than the total cost or the total market because we took each item individually and looked at the cost or the market and we'll come up with a lower number there.